the Hot Boy reunion. Yeah. Is there a such thing? Oh, they doing that? it. They doing the Cash Money Hot Boy tour. Baby told me that itself. Is Trick gonna be involved? I don't think so. He's not a bad person at all. They. The fans portrayed him to be bad I, I, because he wouldn't rap. People would follow me in that. The police would pull me over mm -hmm. and and say, uh, where your son at? And I'd say, why? I mean, is he wanted? No, but he out here, he out here on that stuff and you need to you need to get him right or whatever. I'm like, y'all not y'all pulling me over, you're not gonna ask for the insurance and or nothing like that. They ain't want none of that. They just wanted him. Does BG share stories about what it's like in jail for him? He just loved all the real OGs back there. Okay. And his thing is, man, when I get out, I got the my OGs back here, man. I got the, I'm, I'm not forgetting them. Just with him being a celebrity, does he get any like special treatments or any? No, they not letting him. He, when he first went in, he was getting the special treatment, but they caught on to all of that. And nope, not him. Everybody else in there, but not him. And that's a federal federal jail, right? Okay. Everybody walking around with a phone but him. Hey, he, he get caught for with one, he going in the hole. And if somebody get busted with one in there, they ratting and he going in the hole because he ain't saying nothing. Yeah, they know he ain't going to say nothing. He's, he's the one going in the hole. They not going. He going. Because they figured that he didn't put them up to it. And they like figured that. he got the pull to do anything. But when he first went in, they was fixing him gumbo. He did have the pull. But they caught on to it. He was eating good. Had him ironing his clothes, had him making his bed, he had him doing everything. Them people watched all that and let it build up. Let it build up. What, what was visiting like? Visiting? Horrible. They sit us right up there by them. I say, now all these people, they by the window, they back there, why we gotta sit here? They looking in our mouth, trying to see what we say, and I can't stand it. I don't even like going, but I, I mean, I go just to be, because I got to go, but other than that, I don't like it. They put us right in front of their station. I'm like, why we got to be in front of the station? He's not, he ain't going to do nobody nothing. Man, they like, so that you feel like you're being watched, you know? Yeah, I'm like, out of all the people in there, every time I visited him, we're sitting right, the desk right there, and we sitting right there. You can't talk good because they looking. Right. In your mouth. Or anything, just might try to slide or something or something. That's what I think they be thinking. And then you go to the bathroom, they coming right behind you. Send somebody in there to see if you leaving something in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that. And it, and it was crazy. They still have people doing it, like breaking. yeah, they, yes, <laughs> they have girls doing it. Girls is yeah. doing it for them boys. Yep, he's not a bad person at all. They, the fans portrayed him to be bad I, I, because he wouldn't rap. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm in the courtroom, they asking for 30 years. The judge saying, this is ludicrous. She didn't even listen to the DA. He asked for 30 years because he wouldn't rat. 30 years on that charge. She said, this is ludicrous. She wouldn't do it. Especially for the last few years, there was a lot of back and forth about when he was coming home. Well, we was just trying to get him out. I mean, like any mother would try to do, constantly keep trying to get her son out have nothing to do with his 85% was going to be coming up soon anyway. That 85% time you re-released had nothing to do with that. We was going to work it till that 85, whether he got out or not, work it till that time come. I mean, they was trying to get him out, you know? And I mean, they was feeding us lies. You know how lawyers take yep. your money and tell you they mm -hmm. type with the DA and all that, Lord. Yep. That's what that was about. And, and as of now, I mean, we, he, he's As of now, he's very short. If uh, His 12th year is in April. Okay. So, I mean, you can really put two and two together. Yeah. I ain't saying nothing. Yes. Nothing. Okay. I, I look at the comments. I see people. They want him to do the 14. You can tell what they're saying. Man, he not getting out. They've been saying that for so long. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been trying to get him out for so long, regardless though he was going to get out at the 85% anyway. We still was trying to get him out. So April will be the 12 years? April will be 12 years. And that's 85%? 85%. Okay. And technically and legally, that's that's the way it goes. That's the way it's it goes. There's nothing go. they can do, right? There's nothing nobody can right. do. They can hoop, holler, do whatever they want to do. Okay. Jump to the sky if y'all want to. And you say with the, uh, the Hot Boy reunion? Yeah. Is he, there a such thing as they talk about Him and Baby that? already did they connect. 
So the world hearing this right now, they're gonna say BG Mom said it's gonna be a hot, a hot boy reunion. It is a hot boy reunion, and he's with Cash Money again. I mean, it is what it is. Mm. Maybe 2023, probably in the 2020. It is what it is. Yeah. He is back with yeah. Birdman. No Limit just did it, right? Yeah, oh, they doing it. They doing the Cash Money uh, Hot Boy Tour. Yeah. Yes, they definitely doing it. The baby told me that itself. Yeah. And I'm not sure if you know, but is, is Turk going to be involved? Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Now, that's interesting. I just then, don't think so. I don't know why, but I don't think so. Okay. I, I just don't know. It's, I don't know. Would you say Birdman care for, care for his artist, BGM? Yeah. Birdman, so. Oh, yes, indeed. He loved my son. He still loved him. I know he do. Do you guys have a relationship where you talk sometimes? Yeah, he calls. Okay. And what's that call like? me. Um, just basically saying, Sick, get ready. We about to do this thing again. That was his words. Get ready. We about to do this thing again. Yep, and basically said you can start looking for whatever you want to look for now. So you already know what that is. Start looking now, he says. Okay. One thing I can tell you, he bought the mama. He bought okay. your mother. Okay. And that's what I really love about him, because he's about your mother. Man, he's your mama. Mm -hmm. I done seen him fuss at my son thousands of times about, man, you got your mama going crazy. He said, look at her. She losing weight. Mm -hmm. You know, look, look at your mama, bro. You know, I, and he would drop his head, you know, but Birdman is about the mother. I want that to be known. He about your mama. It says Birdman was a millionaire before he got to music. Well, I think so. Yeah. Damn, in the street. I think so, yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, and Birdman used to be in Skyview sometimes, right? Birdman would drive the bus up in Skyview like it was all good. Yeah. The tour bus. Yep, and Scott, they would all, I would have food set up waiting on them buffet style. Mm. They loved our cooking, the red up spot. Mama used to make the bell peppers. We had this buffet set up. All them cars would be out there. People was just looking. Well, the whole hood had my number from when he was out in, out in that world. I gave everybody my number in the hood. I mean, and my phone used to ring. Miss Cynthia, he old in right now. He's asleep at the red light. He's, uh, you know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> I had to put that number out there. Right, okay, yeah, that was important that you had it out there. I got a call that he was on St. Charles Avenue at that little breakfast spot. What's the name on St. Charles? Charlie, Charlie Stop. I heard he was having a seizure in there. Just somebody knew me, called my phone and said, Cynthia, I don't mean to bother you, but your son is having a seizure right now. They working on him in the trolley stop. I didn't know which way to turn. Somebody called me and say, Miss Cynthia, yeah. I think uh, that's Doogie Vehicle on the bridge banged up. Yeah. And I said, Lord yeah. Jesus, where's my child? Yeah. He told me, he told me that my, he said, I got in a wreck, but I, I, the, it knocked me to the back. But a girl was following me. I just got out and got in the vehicle with her and left the scene and left the car there. Well, Birdman had it, had insurance on it and he had it towed. 